Uh, I went to college not far from here in Helena, Montana. I don't know if we have any, yeah, nobody. Okay, there weren't anybody there either. All right, <laughs> nice. Uh, it's just up the 15. You got that exit up the 15. You got that exit too, but I'd take that one. If you're going to Helena from here tonight, go out that exit. You don't want to walk all the way around. Um, <laughs> But it's a beautiful, I love it. We had, I like the summers better than the winters for some reason. But we had a lot of barbed wire tattoos on the arm. In Mont Montana's a lot of barbed wire tattoos. It comes in handy if you have trouble with cattle crossing from your shoulder to your elbow. <laughs> that barbed wire tattoo keeps everybody's property straight, right? <laughs> Cows see that, they're like, I'm not going near that, you know? <laughs> Put my ribs on it last time, so. I got a tattoo of some wire cutters on this arm. I'm like, I'm gonna get you, you know, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get your livestock. A lot of avalanches, we have avalanches in Montana. Only white people die in avalanches. I don't get that. Uh, every other race has figured out how to stay out of the way of snow when it's coming down a mountain. Which is funny because we've been around snow the longest. You know, you'd think we'd have figured it out. That's why it's so hard to find any of us. It's like we're the same color. So it's like, I don't know, man, where are they? So. Ah, I was a Catholic college. I was raised, uh, I was raised Irish Catholic. I'm not practicing Irish anymore. Um, uh, we played a lot of sports. We used to pray. We used to pray, I don't know how you guys are, but we used to pray to God before grade school football games that we'd win, and we were playing other Catholic grade schools who were praying to this exact same God. I don't think God cares if St. Catherine's Elementary beats St. Margaret's Elementary, right? <laughs> and if so, who are the public school kids praying to? Because they were kicking the crap out of us. <laughs> Their God was a bad dude. I'm doing the sign of the cross while Marcus Jenkins is dragging me across the goal line for the fourth time in the first half on his way to a Division I scholarship after he'd sign a bonus and I'm, he's making more money in one year than I am doing 17 years of stand-up comedy throughout the United States of America. So, But if you follow sports, you know that there's a lot more white coaches than black coaches, even though a lot more professional athletes are black than white, and it's finally changing, finally improving. And people always said it's racism, it's prejudice, that's why there's so many more white coaches for so long as opposed to black coaches. And it's not racism or prejudice. The reason for so many more white coaches for so long is because growing up as a white athlete, we spend a lot more time on the sidelines than black athletes. <laughs> So that by the time we retire, it's like, oh yeah, I've seen the game from this perspective. Yeah. <laughs> I know exactly what I'm looking at. Yeah, he's gonna come around, he comes under, I've been over here my whole life. Oh, yeah. Look at my footprints from childhood. <laughs> you know? uh, age five, seven, nine, 11, 13. Uh, I've never even been on that side. What's it like over there? Oh, my ankle. Oh, okay, oh, 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 okay, my ankle. <laughs> white coaches know how to win with less black coaches sometimes have expectations that are too high right those who can't teach those who can can't teach michael jordan could never coach basketball he'd be like come on guys why is nobody dunking from the free throw line all right <laughs> these are fundamentals we talk about this every day in practice just jump over all five guys every time 